So I couldn't really think of a uh, good way to introduce this video. And I figured I'd just uh, let you look at this old picture I found in a book somewhere rather than watch me talk. But we had a entirely unexpected uh, once in a lifetime thing happened here at the farm the other day so basically it was late in the afternoon it was the weekend and uh, I decided I needed to run into town for a couple of things nothing super important no big purchases nothing like that and on my way home I take the off-ramp off the interstate and as I'm pulling up on the off-ramp I see a little bitty car with its flashers on parked on the blacktop road that I'm going to turn on to. I'm looking around and I'm not seeing anybody and then I look down in the ditch and there's this young dude standing there with this great big upright wooden instrument. I knew it wasn't a cello, but I wasn't quite sure what it was. I just knew that it was really, really big and definitely an upright string instrument that you play with a bow. Anyway, he's standing down there. He's got a tripod in front of him. And uh, I'm like, okay, what the heck's going on here? You know, is it like senior pictures or something? I have no idea. So then I realize he's recording himself playing. I make my right hand turn, I pull up next to his car, hop out. I'm like, hey man, you mind if anybody lets, uh, listens to see you play? And he's like, actually I'm just finishing up. And, uh, you know, I don't remember what exactly transpired after that, but next thing I know I'm down there in the ditch talking to him. And, uh, he goes, well, are you from around here? Do you farm around here? Because um, he had, apparently he had decided to take pictures with these wind turbines that we have out here because he's never seen them before. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I grew up on a farm and I, I live around here and I work for a farmer and that kind of thing. He goes, can I ask you some questions? Because he goes, my Instagram followers, they're all like city people. They don't know nothing about farming. I don't know nothing about farming. And I said, well, how much time do you got? Because I only live a couple miles up the road. He goes, I don't got no deadlines. Let's go to your place. So bring him up to the house, introduce him to Carolina. And, uh, of course, Carolina insists that she cook him some tamales. So she gets going on that right away. And we talk music and we talk farming I walk him around, I show him everything. A lot of what I talked about was how people who have small farms like me who deal with the non-commercial breeds are vital to the commercial industry due to the fact that we have genetics in our animals that aren't in those commercial uh, animals and those genes might be needed sometime in the future. And we talked about how raising livestock and farming is, you know, traces so far back in human history and so does music and it crosses genres and it crosses cultures and it crosses continents just like music. So then we get to talking more about him, find out he's a very well traveled, very well respected musician, um, very famous, and I would have never known any of that. Oh, and then also he uh, his glasses were broke, so I had to fix his glasses for him, and um, couldn't quite get the screw to thread proper, so I uh, ran a little bailing wire up through there and twisted it for him, so he was able to see. But, long story short, he was so excited to be in our little 
messy farmhouse and to talk to people like us that he offered to play us music and have our own little private concert in our kitchen. This guy is absolutely amazing. First of all, just as a person. He's a great guy. His skill level is incredible. And you can tell when he plays that he lives for what he does. So, with all that said, and I'm going to put links to his Instagram and everything else below, but he recorded his performance in our kitchen, gave us a copy and told us we can share it however we want. And it was just too good to keep to ourselves. So I'm including it on this video. And I hope you guys appreciate it even though it's not the normal type of stuff that you see on this channel. And, you know, share it, go check him out everything so once again to our new friend we thank you so much and I'm so glad I took a chance on just stopping and saying hi to you when I saw you so everybody we present to you Xavier Foley and he's gonna play music that will just I don't know man like if 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 it doesn't stir something in you you might want to go check your doctor and see if you have a pulse so here we go hello my name is Xavier Foley and this is a private house concert for Josh and Carolina I hope I said that correct. <laughs> and um, right now I think I'm going to start with some Bach from the cello suite number two. Just some selections because we have uh, some food cooking so we can't go too, 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 uh, too over time. <laughs> Thank you. 
There you have it. I don't even know what to do right now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank great. you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. 